Hello from the power plant live in Baltimore, Maryland. I've got a special video today. I put together a top 10 list of why you should register for the East Coast Genetic Genealogy Conference that's going to be happening here in Baltimore this October. I'm really looking forward to it and here's my top 10 reasons why you should be looking forward to it too. Number 10, there's going to be some exciting presentations this year from all the big names in genetic genealogy. Blaine Bettinger will be kicking off the conference with a keynote about the future of genetic genealogy. And you'll get to attend in-person sessions like uh, from Dana Leeds of the Leeds Method fame. She's going to talk about the fundamentals of genetic genealogy. Roberta Estes' talk on the uh, mitochondrial DNA. Uh, Diane Southard's talk on how to handle endogamy and some other genetic genealogy obstacles in your work. And I'll also be giving two talks, one about demystifying the X chromosome and one where I'll walk you through how I reconstructed the DNA of my third great-grandfather, a direct descendant of Thomas Price who came to Maryland Colony in a 1634 board, the Ark and the Dove. We're going to reconstruct the resin Price and I'm going to show you how you can reconstruct your ancestors too. Number nine, this is your chance for East Coasters to meet representatives from some of your favorite genetic genealogy companies. We'll be giving uh, in-person product demonstrations, answering questions, talking about new and upcoming software uh, and product features and getting to know the attendees. Come by my booth and me and the Mrs. Borland's in my life. My mom's going to be helping out at the booth and also this time so is the other Mrs. Borland, Tito on. Number eight, the Baltimore area is an awesome location if you're visiting from out of town. If you can sneak in some extra days on your trip, you can check out the Inner Harbor, that's where I am. Uh, and you could also check out downtown. They got the National Aquarium, the Maryland Zoo, the Maryland Science Center, and all kinds of entertainment and dining options. Uh, you haven't been to Baltimore unless you have some authentic Maryland crab cakes, though. Number seven, everyone who registers will be able to watch the conference sessions again and again and again, as long as you want, but, well, through the end of the year anyway. So if you're in another part of the world or in a different time zone, uh, or you can't get time off work to come in person, that's okay, don't fret, just uh, hesi don't hesitate at all to register anyway. You can still enjoy all the presentation content uh, when and where it's convenient for you throughout the end of the year. Number six, I heard there's gonna be some sort of genealogy themed game going on throughout the conference for uh, in-person attendees. And I'm not privy to the exact details yet, but I know it's gonna be a lot of fun. Number five, the Maritime Conference Center is an amazing venue for genealogy convention. It's in Linthicum Heights, Maryland, uh, which is just eight miles from where I'm standing or sitting. And it's uh, super convenient. It's only three miles from the BWI airport. Uh, in addition to the facilities for, for our conference, there's the Deck Club Lounge, uh, there's an indoor swimming facility, all kinds of amenities, uh, on-site rooms, of course, so you can stay at the conference center. Uh, I think they got some pet-friendly ones, too. I, I'm also told that they do serve crab cakes on the premises. And uh, as a pro tip uh, for, from a local, if you're planning on spending some uh, vacation time around the conference, uh, the Mark and Amtrak trains that go from the, the station at BWI uh, to Washington DC. They cost between five and seven dollars. They're really nice trains. They're clean, they're safe, uh, and you can check out Washington while you're here. I know a lot of people have ancestors uh, in this area, and you may want to look at some local resources, visit the local cemeteries and things like that, but Washington DC, uh, you, know, you got the, the, the National Archives there, you got the DAR Library, uh, a lot of really valuable resources at your uh, fingertips when you come to visit the uh, the area here in person uh, and it's really easy to get around uh, find the cemetery or library or what have you uh, we got ubers we got the the mark and amtrak trains we got a great metro system uh, and, and these two cities are really walkable number four this is going to be the east coast premier genealogy conference last year was our inaugural year and we had to do it virtually but we had a great turnout and really good reviews uh, this is your opportunity to take part in the first annual in-person incarnation of the event uh, and part of that experience is going to be meeting us, the uh, Mito Y DNA team. Uh, we'll be here in full force, and so we're all friends at uh, WikiTree, DNA Jetcom, Family Tree DNA. Anybody who's anybody really is going to be here. Uh, it's going to be the coolest thing since sliced cheese. Number three, we're really getting down there now, exclusive vendor discounts. I know my company, Borland Genetics, is going to be running a conference-only discount on memberships, and a lot of other vendors will also be doing special offers for attendees. 
for attendees only. Uh, part of the joy of going to these kind of events is uh, getting big savings on all kinds of industry products. And that's to say, say nothing of the swag that's available at the vendor booths that will be handed out for free. Number two, the conference actually has the word genetic in it. This is a genetic genealogy conference. How awesome is that? Uh, the conference content is laser focused on not just genealogy generally, but specifically on genetic genealogy. While some conferences have a DNA track or a few scattered DNA sessions here and there, some uh, with mostly introductory content, we're going to be up to our necks in DNA all week. Whether you're a beginner or maybe just thinking about uh, getting your first DNA test or whether you're an old pro looking to get into ancestor reconstruction or the big Y analysis and all that good stuff, you'll find yourself among like minds. All right, number one, drum roll please. Anyone who knows me will not be surprised with my pick for number one. Um, okay, the suspense is killing me. Friday Night Social. We're gonna hang out, get to know one another, do some networking, it's gonna be a great time. I can't wait to meet all you and hear all your stories. Uh, and it's so nice uh, that this one's on my home turf. I've lived in the DC, Baltimore uh, metro area for about 20 years and it's a great place to visit. It's the perfect place for an event like this. And the Friday Night Social is our chance uh, for us all to get together on a Friday night and chat about our common interests. Be there or be square.